How's it going, oddballs? I'm TJ. Uh, I'm Alex. I think that's what we'll do. We'll have we'll we'll have a. Is that what we decided? Yep. <laughs> okay. We'll tie, oh, there's a there's a zombie. Um, we're back for another episode of a show we do not have titled yet. Yep. We'll might we'll probably we'll throw some stuff around. This, or like this will actually be titled in YouTube, but we haven't titled <laughs> it yet in our brains. So you're putting way too much, um, 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 faith in <laughs> us. <laughs> uh, good old times. Well. So we're back for our world-famous talk show, where we, the Oddball Society, help the little people. Yep. We you help you I... figure out all of your problems on Reddit. Mm-hmm. And by you, we mean the general public, who doesn't <laughs> know of us at all. Do you have any food? Because I'm about to starve to death. Um, define food. Because I have zombie flesh, but that's it. I, I have three seeds. Seeds? Three of them. Well, we should start farming. Um, Let's find some water around here. By the way, if you actually want, want to watch to watch us play Minecraft, this is not a good video for that because yeah, we're gonna, we're, re we're be doing lots of stupid stuff that doesn't make sense because we won't be thinking about what we're doing. We're yeah, mostly I might, talking. Yeah, I'm gonna be probably punching a tree for like five hours. Like that doesn't make sense when yeah. I have an axe. You know, just it's more for us to just have mind, something mindlessly going on in the background. Yep. Um. So let's start this thing off. Hopefully, you watch the first episode if you're watching this one. It make more sense. Um. Yeah. So let me find a question for us. And let us our knowledge flow like the stream of knowledge it is. Oh god, oh, creepers, oh, spiders! I'm oh. getting attacked. One sec, I was tabbed out. <laughs> <laughs> Save the zombies while I try to read stuff. Probably should have like a list of them. <laughs> yeah, we should. Well, um, we'll we'll figure this out one day. What was your most epic fuck up with a girl? Oh <laughs> god! <laughs> I don't know if I should share this story. You should totally share this story. <laughs> So when I was in uh, high school, I had a girlfriend, which we'll leave names out, obviously. Of course. But I think Alex knows who I'm talking about. I do. And um, since I was from, I was from a little uh, hick town, mm -hmm. we both were. And um, so I had a truck, obviously. So <laughs> um, we used to like just park in you know, places at the back of the truck at a canopy, and it was tinted. Well, we were having like a kind of like a quote-unquote picnic, but you know, being 17-year-old kids, I mean, totally legal. We were totally old enough to be doing stuff. Anyways, yeah. stuff started happening. And while things were happening, I decided it was a good time to start eating some chips. Which <laughs> Apparently girls don't appreciate that. They're if not you... particularly happy with that. So that was very... Uh, looking back now, I understand why I was young and stupid. But I think that's my, one of my biggest F-ups is doing that around a girl. I know there's other ways you can go with this question too. But mm -hmm. I think that answers, at least for me, in a way. <laughs> Um, I don't so, know if I should tell mine. Uh, <laughs> well, like it's. <laughs> oh. I feel like you should, I'm not gonna say any names, but this is just yeah. kind of, this is very embarrassing. So forgive me. <laughs> um, so the first time I was dating a girl in high school, it was well, high school. Um, first time she was doing something to me <laughs> via her hand. <laughs> Like, so this is the first time anyone's ever done this for me, right? So I'm, like, very excited. I'm, like, I'm not sure, like, exactly what the proper, like, things are to do, like, when it's all happening and, like, when you're going to get close to, you know, being finished. <laughs> um, but anyways, it... <laughs> God damn it. Um, so I, you know, get really close and I'm, like, about to finish. And so, like, it happens and it, like, shoots up all the way up and, like, hits me in the face. <laughs> That's the best story ever. <laughs> I didn't know that one. You didn't share that. I purposely never shared it with you. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Oh, my God. So, yeah, that happened first time. And, Dude. like, she didn't notice, so I just ran to the bathroom really quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she noticed. <laughs> no, she, she just... didn't. I asked her later. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. That's the best story ever. Yeah, oh, that was pretty... Yeah. That's probably my big... It's not really even, like, a fuck-up. Like, I didn't do anything wrong, necessarily. Uh, this is hilarious, though. Yeah. So. That's a good story. So, oh, my God. <laughs> That's the best. Um, so, but um, actual, like, just, hmm, I'm trying to think of some, like, actual, like, stories where maybe we're, it was just pure, a real mess up. Um, yeah. Whew. Those are, that's a funny story. I, I don't know if I recover. <laughs> I have some similar stories, not that necessarily similar, but. Oh, yeah? Okay. But I don't know if I feel like I should share. 
Well, mine was pretty bad. I don't know. Well, basically the same thing except it didn't hit me in the face, and it didn't necessarily just hit the face. Maybe oh. some eyes and. Oh God. Was it it might happen more than once. Nope. <laughs> oh. And um, it might have happened more than once oh. with different people. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, That's funny. Yep. <laughs> oh my God. So, anyways, um, but actual like. Mess up, mess up. So let me think about that for a second. Hmm. Do I have any mess ups? I'm sure well, we both do, but I can't really think of anything. I don't know. Is a mess up like? Hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, there has to be some stuff. I. Oh, nice, nice staircase. Thank you. There's got to be something. I just can't. I don't know why. I can't think of it right uh, now. But. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we've, like, been in enough relationships to have too many mess ups yet. No, probably not. It's more the issue, I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, are you yeah, gonna go to the next I'm, question? Or yeah, let's no? go to the next question. <laughs> After that fun story, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was you, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you just found two hundred fifty thousand dollars in a bag on the sidewalk. What are your exact thoughts and actions following this discovery? Um, is there any color on the bag? That's what I do first. Make sure it's not counterfeit because mo- cheap counterfeit colors will wear off. Um, and real, real money won't wear its color. I think we can assume it's not counterfeit money. Okay, we can, well, we can assume that. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Um, leave. <laughs> what? You have to make your own pizza. All right. Wait, well, somebody came in my room and told me I had to make my own pizza. Maybe I'll cut. Hopefully, I'll cut my get there. Um, what was I talking about? Um, oh, money. Yeah, found money on the ground. Oh, that's hard. Okay. Um. What do I do? Yeah, I'm going to go the greed route on this. Mm-hmm. I think I would do the same thing, yeah. I would probably buy a nice car. Not uh, like, I'm not going to buy a freaking Mercedes. I'm not that greedy. Mm-hmm. But I will buy a, probably a new car and it paid off. Yeah. Oh, how much was it? 250000 Yeah. That's like yeah, see, I wouldn't buy a, this, is, this is why I wouldn't buy like a house, though. Um, is because that's, that's a lot of money. Can kind of explain that at that point? <laughs> Why you yeah, can't yeah, that much money? That's fair. But if you buy a car, you can usually buy cars cash pretty easily, and it's not that much question put into it. IRS might ask you, but ooh, you know, I probably wouldn't buy a car because you would have some questions with the IRS at that point. Yeah. Well, now we're just talking about how to get two hundred fifty thousand dollars without telling anyone. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> we both we both instantly skipped the options of going to the police with it or um, donating to charity, <laughs> and then instantly went pretty to, much. Yeah. How do we get away with doing this without getting caught? Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what I would do. And I'd probably just, yeah, I'd probably just sit on it for a while. Yeah, maybe maybe buy, oh, I'd totally buy a new car off Craigslist. Oh, there you go. You still have to register it, though. Ooh. I think, right? I don't know. You well, Yeah, with the DMV, but is the communication that good between the... Um... I'm inclined to say no based off all of my prior involvement with the U.S. government. Yeah, Not right. Not working well, but I don't really know. We still um, need to plant some food. You had seeds, right? Yeah, I have a decent amount of seeds. So I made all of this nice farming ground for you, but you've yet to plant food for me. <laughs> so if you could uh, get on that. Hmm. I feel like you're telling me to do something. I made a, I made a bunch of chests now. So. Okay. Um. I will. Yeah. I'll plant those seeds. Um. So I want to go on a tangent, completely random topic. Go for it. The Chinese military. Yes. Recently learned how silly it is. So you know how people are always scared, like they're the world's largest standing army. Yada yada yada. Yeah, I just idea. learned how embarrassing their army really is. It's really so check, check this out. <laughs> um, first off, China doesn't have an army. The Communist Party has an army, mm-hmm. which basically <laughs> means like it'd be like if the Republicans had an army in the United States yep. <laughs> or the Democrats, which would be horrible, by the way. <laughs> but, it's just not a good idea. Yeah. So that's the first step one. Then the average like, Chinese soldier mm-hmm. is um, they only spend like <laughs> I think it's like a thousand dollars per soldier. Really? Half of that, including the, being the gun. So like they're they're just there's just no nothing. Nine, I think it's like 70% of their training is just how to sing different songs about the Communist Party and how to be like very formal with the Communist Party and swearing allegiance. Nothing to do with military training. Hmm. And then they have no like they they, have, they don't have a single uh, joint uh, ops at all. Really? So the Navy does have no has no communication with the Air Force and so forth and so forth. Is um is military like mandatory there? I know it is in Korea. No, it's not. Okay. It's not, but um, a lot. I mean, yeah, they, no, it's just not. <laughs> okay. It's just, it's just really funny how. That's funny. Yeah, like how we people get too afraid, and I think it's kind of an important thing to talk about in the United States. Like, 
we un- we overestimate them a lot and yeah the only um <laughs> uh, aircraft carrier they have is one they bought from the ukraine <laughs> that doesn't work that's funny but they are building one that's using um it's it's basically a u.s one hmm. and you know why it's basically a u.s one because they stole it from our computers and are building it oh nice that's nice yeah yep. they're, so they're get a, new- a lot of hacking yeah you want to go to a new question let's do it let me find a new one um that doesn't apply to us what is the most ingenious way you've seen a parent punish their kid? Oh, <laughs> I, I, uh, we'll get, get to that in a second. But I want to tangent really quick on mm-hmm. that topic. Sure. Um, one time I was at a Target. Mm-hmm. And I saw a mother and a child walking, and the child's like, um, "I really want this." And the mom's like, "But how? How was your behavior earlier?" And he's like, "Not good." <laughs> and it just made me laugh so much. He's like, <laughs> "He just parented himself out of it." Yeah. Boy. Right. He's like, "Yeah, no, it wasn't good." <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. So, but most ingenious way. Um, <laughs> let me think about that. I killed mm. the bunny. Oh, you bastard! But now we can cook food. So, the bunny I killed earlier didn't drop any food. I got some raw rabbit. Hmm. You're missing um, out. what was I gonna say to you? Oh yeah. Have you, have you seen any ingenious ways? I'm trying to think. I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a parent, obviously. So yeah. it's kind of hard for me to answer that question. So you don't really know until you. So you've been there. Parent punish the kid. Um, no, I've just seen kids or parents spank their kids. That's like the only way I've really seen people punish their kids. Besides that, and grounding, mm-hmm, which both of which aren't particularly useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting some light in our house. Let's uh, get to the next question. Okay. Um. <laughs> What are your shameful masturbation habits? Oh, it's one of those shows, huh? Yep. Got got quick. Got, well, I mean, we were here there earlier. But, yeah. <laughs> um, shameful masturbation habits. I'm not even sure how to, how to approach that question. I don't know. To be oh, I found roses over here. That's nice. Um, I'm giving your house a foundation. Okay. I'm going to oh, put wait. roses outside of it to make it pretty. No, actually, I don't want that. Um, hmm. Shameful habits. Interesting question. Do you have any answers to that? I don't know if um, I have any shameful habits. Is my I don't now. I used to. You want to elaborate, like, or is it too too I, bad? I don't really care that much at this point. <laughs> yeah, we've already gone far uh, enough. Like I want to say seventh or eighth grade, like the summer after. I think it was end of seventh grade. There was a point where I was like just really into masturbating. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, not that I'm I think, not now, I guess. But, <laughs> but nothing changes. <laughs> uh, uh, no, but it was just like you know, it was new or for me, and so it was like crazy fun. But there was like one week where I did it, I don't know, like seven times a day or something. Yep. No, I think we all were there in and seventh grade or eighth grade. Like that was shameful. I remember like feeling bad after like the <laughs> sixth time, and then like wanting to do it again, and just being like, ah. Well, you just learned. You're like, well, I can do this, and then you wanted There's to no do it all the time. Consequences. What? As you grow older, you're like, okay, yeah, I don't. But yeah, no, it was an, it's an interesting period. <laughs> yep. Now, so not much help. Stop that. <laughs> um, hey, you have a cute little house. Yeah, I'm gonna start digging down somewhere over yeah, here. Yeah, I have to agree with that. Same. That's Same. your. Yeah. If anything. Okay. Uh, I can't, but there's nothing weird. Yeah, I can't say there's anything, like, other than that, you know, like. It's just, like, just, a lot when you first yeah, start doing it. Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing that's, well, our, our viewers know a lot more about us now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Why do you get three doors now when you make doors? That's kind of interesting. Because they stack now, which is nice. But, <laughs> interesting. Um, uh, let's see. What mythical slash paranormal being, like ghosts, Bigfoot, Loch Ness monster, etc., is most likely to be real? Oh, see, that's hard for me because, yeah, I can't say that any mythical creature is probably just not real. There's mm-hmm. a reason they're mythical is because people saw something that made them think that that was real, and then just the myth has carried on. You know, yeah. Somebody saw a shadow, a really big bear one day, and thought it was Bigfoot, and then all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. If Bigfoot was honestly, I I just believe if if one of those things was real, they would have been actually found. I yeah, mean, there's just too many still. people. You still got cheese punch. Fuck. Um. <laughs> well, I'll let you go first then. 
Um, let's see. I'm thinking. I'll, I'll go. Uh, giant squid. That's actually what I was gonna say. Yeah. No way. <laughs> well, no, just because we haven't explored so much of the yeah. ocean. Yeah. That, if like, it's, yeah. If anything is gonna be real, that's mythical. It's gonna be something water based mm -hmm. because that's... it's just this only place in the world that we just haven't. Yeah. Mapped very much. Exactly. Good. I'm glad we both agree on that. Cool. I will find another question. Um, these are not applying to us still. We have to be married. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. What video game had great potential but wasn't good? <sighs> Damn. Great potential but wasn't good. There's probably a lot on that list, but... Yeah. I would say, okay... I don't necessarily agree with the statement I'm about to make, but mm -hmm. based on what everyone say says, okay. Fallout New Vegas. Interesting. People hated you'd... Fallout New Vegas. I love it. You love it, right? Yeah. I love I it. Because it's just, it, people are like, well, it's so much worse than Fallout 3. It's not, first off. And it's, just, it's, it's the same. It's, they use the same engine as Fallout 3. So there was no real improvement, and the story yeah. was a little different. But Oh, God. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Sorry. <laughs> but I, I love that game. It's, but it's, it is, I think it is true that that is one of the games that people thought was going to be great, and it just... Yeah. It was meh to them. Fair enough. Um, what else there was? Um, oh, Watch Dogs turned out to be... Right, yeah. Watch Dogs was supposed to be the best... Like, at least in my mind, it was going to be like the best game ever. It was like the change... This game's yeah. going to change things. I'll be honest, and I thoroughly enjoyed playing Watch Dogs. I couldn't finish it. No? I, I got bored. But then again, I also didn't finish uh, Shadow of Mordor, and I mm. really like that game. I, just, I think so, you're not a huge fan of stealth games, are you? Uh, I love uh, Far Cry. Okay, fair enough. That answers your question. Far Cry is always amazing. I yeah. Just, God, I still haven't finished Far Cry 4, though. <laughs> no? Yeah. It's, I don't know. I think the story, honestly, is better in Far Cry 3, but the mechanics are more fun in Far Cry 4. I mean, they're basically the same mechanics, but they're just better refined, I think. Yeah. I yeah. think that bothered me about Far Cry 4 was it was Far Cry 3 to me. You know, it wasn't yeah, yeah, that's fair. But it was like Far Cry 3 was good, and I wanted more Far Cry 3, so having 4, was that was okay with that. You know? I see. That's what you're saying. I, I can agree with that. Oh, cool. I found some iron. Sweet. Yeah, I think I found some a little bit ago. I haven't cooked it up yet because I was cooking food. Shh. <laughs> I was starving Selfish. to death, man. <laughs> Selfish bastard. I have one hunger. <laughs> um, oh, I'll say yeah. another one was Assassin's Creed Unity. Oh, I didn't even bother. Well, because, like, I don't know about other people, I guess, but I love the Assassin's Creed games pretty oh, much up me until too. that point. Um, Revelations. Revelations wasn't great. No, that's fair, actually. No, I couldn't but play it. Black Flag was could. amazing. Black Flag was the best one. I, yeah, pretty much. Uh, besides two, I love two. See, but uh, I think if you just compare the amount of fun, like the amount of hours you spend having fun and stuff, I think Black Flag wins. Okay, I can agree. Two with that. is a close second to me. Yeah, yeah. And then of course uh, Brotherhood. Yeah. Oh, I'm starving to death. Okay. Give me grub. Uh, nope. I ate it all. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> well. I hate you. Were you starving? I don't think I was starving to death earlier for some reason. Maybe I was. Yeah, what, what difficulty are we, are we on? I don't know, actually. Options. Easy. <laughs> That's fair. Should I, should I change it, or are we good with easy? Um. I feel like, yeah, easy's probably fine for our talk show game yeah, thing. Fair enough. Um, um, do you think yeah. it's probably good for this episode? Yeah, it's probably good for this episode. Cool. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you all enjoyed I know we got a little personal today. We got a little <laughs> <laughs> into it, but um, yeah, I'm gonna call it here, and hopefully, uh, you know a lot about us now. <laughs> and if keep, keep you on do feel the need to uh, ask us questions, we will totally answer those. I yeah, mean, seriously, any questions in the comment? Yep, okay. Any single ones? Yeah, we social will security answer. numbers. We got it. Yeah, <laughs> what's your what's your social security number, date of birth, and um, <laughs> mother's maiden name? Yep. Oh yeah, no problem. No, but um, honestly, yeah, we would appreciate some questions. Yeah, Hopefully this show takes off a little bit. We, we would love to keep on doing it. I know yeah, it's, this is a lot of fun. We'll probably eventually come up with a title, probably, and stuff. Eventually. <laughs> All right, well, until next time. Bye-bye.